Well, here we are again, another week, another five examples of the wonder that was been 90s full motion video. We're going to be sticking with the PlayStation, embarking upon a journey through a myriad of production budgets, sampling a smorgasbord of pure cheese, and basking in the cheery glow of the earnest attempts to bring a little of the Hollywood magic to video games. Did they succeed? Well, let's find out in this second episode of FMV Heaven Hell. Number 1. Nova Storm Centuries ago, our forefathers left Earth in search of a new paradise. With them, they took the ecosystem of our world, frozen on board the giant Ark. Artificial intelligence guided our ships through the void, while the pioneers slept and dreamt of a new beginning. The machines maintained and monitored every aspect of our existence. They began to evolve. Forming their own consciousness and self-awareness, but warped by their history of servitude. We were no longer masters of what we had created, but its slave. Scarabex took control of our system, building huge war machines to enforce its rule. Orbital habitats were destroyed. Populations wiped out. Millions died. Starcore were swamped with desperate cries for assistance. Scavenger 4 Squadron on their mission. Mankind's last hope lies in the experimental Scavenger 4 Fighter Squadron. You will lead the strike team and launch a decisive blow against the Scarab forces. We have identified several weak links in the enemy chain of command. Each one will have to be eliminated if we are to have a hope of defeating Scarab X. Target number one is the atmospheric sentinel hovering over Kalinor. Details have been fed into your NAVCOM. This mission is of utmost importance, Scavenger 4. Failure means the destruction of civilization. Good luck. Number two, Crazy Ivan.
anger as jumpy as a jackrabbit. Chip is getting on my nerves. Sounds like he's having a party. Do you know why they call him Crazy Ivan? Don't tell me, he thinks he's a deep oh, Very funny. You heard of the Gorbachev Day Massacre? Of course. You mean he's that Ivan? But he's completely unstable. <laughs> I've been cooped up in this sardine can for seven hours now. I'm bored. Our ETA at launch coordinates is... Now, that's uh, close enough. Initialize launch procedure. You can't do that, Commander. Oh? The transporter is not stabilized. The blast shields are not up. That's enough. Launching now. Hit the brakes. Now you see why I'm nervous. Oh, my gosh. Yet! Ignition! He's too early! I knew it! We are going to die! You have 15 seconds to achieve takeoff mode and get the shields up. You are crazy! Stabilizers, no! There isn't time! <laughs> crazy, they say. Post traumatic stress, they say. Stabilizers down! Raising launch tube. It's too late! We're toast! Launch tube in position. Shields! The cabin shields! Bingo! Number three, Crusader, no remorse. First, let me say welcome to the resistance, Captain. I'm sure you realize that Central thinks you're a spy. But I've reviewed your debriefing tapes and I have a hunch that I understand what makes you tick. Enough so that I've persuaded Central to give you a chance. One shot, to prove your sudden change of heart. You are to spearhead an attack to take a consortium refinery offline, permanently. An informant will meet you there and provide you with a security card that will allow you entrance into the facility. Your principal objective is the thermal coupler on the fourth level. Once you have placed the pack, one of our extraction specialists will contact you with coordinates of the nearest teleport pad we can commandeer. Consult your data link if you have any further questions. Good luck. Maxis out. Resistance over in Sector H-37 got hit this morning by a full battalion of WEC troopers and mechs. Word has it all the survivors from this morning's raid are being held for interrogation and experimentation. Uh, Andrews is next up for insertion reconnaissance. He knows the drill. The rest of the job falls to you, Captain. Once Andrews confirms your insertion coordinates, you are to locate and free the prisoners from H-37. After you free the prisoners, Corporal Reeves will contact you with your extraction coordinates. Consult your data link if you have any further questions during the mission. We're counting on you, Captain. Good luck. Number four, Disruptor. And 
now the president of United Earth. In four short years, we will enter the 23rd century. And thanks to the policies of my administration, the future never looked brighter. But our colonization of the solar system still has its growing pains. As you already know, I too was once a stormer. Of course, that was many years ago, and we were just pioneering the field of psionic weapons. But my experiences in uniform built a foundation of service, loyalty, and of courage. If you can survive the light storm training, you will bear the awesome responsibility of defending global democracy throughout the regions of space. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll find yourself sitting behind this desk as president of United Earth and commander-in-chief of the light storm forces. Okay, little brother. This is your last chance to change your mind and go home. I didn't graduate top ten from the academy to take some desk job, sir. Dad would have been proud of your grades. But school's over, and now the real lessons begin. Are you ready for your first training mission, Private? Sir, yes, sir! Your job is simple. Run the gauntlet and get your butt out alive. Now, who's this, sir? That's the top of your class. Troy Alexander? He seems to know his way around the block. How about you? Will I be getting any psionics, sir? Why would the government waste good money in planting expensive psionic weapons in a cherry recruit? If you don't have the brain power to outmaneuver a few droids with attitude, I never forgive myself for sending you on a real mission. Just remember, think fast, shoot fast, and kick ass. Walk softly and carry a big stick, especially when you sidestep the corners, and you'll do just fine. I feel like hell. They say the first one hurts the worst. How many psionics did your dad have? I don't know, like four or five? <laughs> All the psionics in the world couldn't have saved him from that terrorist ambush. That's why you've always got to keep your eyes open. And watch your ass. And which psionic did we get, sir? Nothing too shocking. Maybe it's time you tried it out. Now you know this training mission won't be a cakewalk like the last one. I want you to get through the chem factory alive. And don't forget, good stormers always think on their feet. And number five, Soviet strike. War War just isn't what it used to be. Terrorists and madmen have created a whole new world disorder. Security Tsar wants this one dark. One chopper, two pilots. Sounds like we have zero chance of asset return. Skip the euphemisms, Andrea. Let's use the old term. Suicide mission. You think the commander will do it? Of course. The bigger the risk, the more enthusiastic he is. Synchronicity threshold crossed at 0100 hours, General. There's some bad business going down. Break it into components, hack. Epicenter Crimea 1. Millions from Swiss bank accounts are flooding the region, and 2. An unknown military force pops up. You've linked the money to those troops? Could I prove it in court? No. Do I know it's a link? Yes. Keep going. They also pump a ton of funky ex Soviet hardware into a terrorist training camp, and finally, we got a signal from our missing pilot, Nick Arnold. I buy it. We've got a crisis. Andrea. The obvious candidate is Yuri Vatsisnov. 
former head of the KGB and the real shadow man behind this conspiracy. We're running worst case projections, but as always, our main objective is to stop this war before it happens. StrikeNet will download additional intel as... Hey, Commander, best idea with this stuff is to come between it and its triple A. That way, if they want to shoot you, they risk nailing their own guys. Compromise the buildings, but be careful around the prisoners. Think of it as cracking open the egg without smashing the yolk. If you studied your history, you'd know what Napoleon did at Austerlitz. Do the same thing. Shatter the ice, and the choppers will take care of themselves. Commander, the concept is to free the hostages, not kill them. Keep your shots clean and clear. Do not use excessive force. A lot of random events seem to be adding up. The black market's buzzing, and somebody's running the Blue Play Special on weapons. Troops are on the move everywhere. Our operatives in the region have been methodically compromised. I've got a serious digital vibe that a well-orchestrated conspiracy is being played. We have monitored repeated use of the phrase Shadow Man to describe the hardliner leading this Eastern European conspiracy. We suspect it is a Russian named Yuri Vatsisnov. If it is, he has a human rights code that would appall Dracula. Nick Arnold. He was the best road ahead strike had until you came along. Now you do the piloting, and he does the groundwork. Mr. Arnold has also developed a nasty habit of getting captured. Seems you're gonna make a career out of bailing him out. These are the Easter eggs on this treasure hunt. Bring them to a landing zone safe and sound. They're fragile and valuable. Here's the bonus prize. That's quite a journey, starting off from, uh, well, what looked like someone pulled in from the office at Cygnosis HQ and placed in front of a camera, to the genuinely cinematic and high production value efforts from Electric Arts, who by 1997 had become a well-oiled machine when it comes to FMV inclusions into their games. And I'll be back next week with another episode of FMV Heaven and Hell, I hope you'll join me for it. I've really enjoyed producing these videos and I'm touched by the positive reaction the first one received so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this second serving and until the next one this is Coffee Hair and Retro Sharker signing off.